Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Acrobat, you can use the PDF Optimizer to control the file size and quality of a PDF. This is especially helpful if you are creating image-intensive PDFs. Sometimes you will want a smaller file size, for example, if you want to produce a PDF intended for mobile devices. At other times, you will want the highest image quality possible, for example, if your PDF will be professionally printed. To access the PDF Optimizer, select File, Save as Other, Optimized PDF from the menu bar. If you have not yet saved the current version of the PDF, a pop-up message will alert you that the file must be saved before it can be optimized. If your PDF contains attachments, you may also see a message alerting you that the optimization process will not be applied to outside files. In the PDF Optimizer dialog box, you can select from a wide variety of options that will reduce file sizes, shown as a listing at the left side of the dialog box. First, use the Settings drop-down to choose from a listing of preset optimization settings for standard use or mobile use. You can choose the custom choice from the drop-down to apply your own custom settings from the category shown in the listing at the left side of the dialog box. You can also target the PDF optimization for specific Acrobat version compatibility by making a choice from the Make Compatible With drop-down. Note that the selection made from this drop-down will impact the available choices shown in the categories selected below. For custom settings, you can select which categories of optimizations to apply by checking or unchecking the categories listed in the box at the left side of this dialog box to enable or disable each optimization category. You can click a category name shown in this listing to view the optimization options in the area to the right. You can select the images category to modify the downsampling used to compress images for color, grayscale, and monochrome images in the PDF within the image settings area at the right side of the dialog box. For each type of image, you can select the downsampling method to use and set the compression and quality. These settings are the same as the image settings shown in the lesson titled The Images Category in Preset Adobe PDF Settings, and you can review that lesson if you need to be reminded of how they function. You can check the Optimize Images only if there is a Reduction in Size checkbox to only apply downsampling to images that have been reduced in size from their original sizes. You can select the Fonts category to unembed embedded fonts in the PDF within the Font Unembedding Settings area at the right side of the dialog box. To not unembed any font, check the Do Not Unembed Any Font checkbox. To unembed an embedded font shown in the Embedded Fonts list, click it to select it, and then click the Unembed button to move it into the Fonts to Unembed list. If you want to retain a font that you have unembedded, select it within the Fonts to Unembed list, and then click the Retain button. To only embed subsets of all embedded fonts, check the Subset All Embedded Fonts checkbox. You can select the Transparency category to apply Transparency Flattener settings in the preset area at the right side of the dialog box. This is no longer necessary when exporting to Acrobat 5 or higher. You can select a preset Transparency Flattening preset to use by choosing a preset from the list shown at the top of the preset section. The preset settings contained in the selected preset then appear within the preset settings list. You can select the Discard Objects category to discard selected objects from the PDF during optimization. In the Discard Objects Settings section, check or uncheck the settings shown to enable or disable the discarding of the associated objects within the PDF. You can select the Discard User Data category to discard selected user data from the PDF during optimization. In the Discard User Related Information section, check or uncheck the settings shown to enable or disable the discarding of the associated user data within the PDF. You can select the Clean Up category to choose Object Compression options and enable or disable other compression and object discarding settings in the Clean Up Settings section in the area to the right. You can use the Object Compression Options drop-down to select the compression option to apply to the optimized PDF. You can then check or uncheck the checkbox setting shown to enable or disable each setting. When you have finished optimizing the PDF, click the OK button. In the Save Optimized As dialog box that appears, enter a name for your optimized PDF file. You may want to name the file so that you can easily tell the difference between the optimized file and the original PDF. If you use the same file name as the original PDF, Acrobat will ask you if you mean to replace the existing file in a separate message box that appears. To save the original PDF as well as the optimized file, instead enter a new name for the optimized file, and then click the Save button. Like what you see? 
pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.